Today I'm going to kind of try to give you guys a tour of what I've done so far for my interior for my bus because there's not a ton of videos on uh, bay window or split window, VW, um, transporter, bus, interiors that are for tin tops, not uh, West Valleyas because there's a lot of options for West Valleyas and um, or, you know pop top uh, or high top vans because they're a lot more conventional a camper build out um, but I my bus I bought because it was a great deal um, it, it was a complete restoration I had to do everything from scratch but I got it for a really good price so I didn't have the option of looking for a uh, West Folio or a high top. I'll show you the outside after. I think uh, most people are interested in like the interior. These are all detachable and removable cabinets. Um, they're all their own pieces, and uh, they're all they were all designed by me, but kind of off of the West Folio kit a little bit. Um, this back one is less functional as storage and more for um it houses all of the electronics for the solar kit and it has all my switches on it for like here is the switch for the lights there's my voltage readout for the solar this is my to turn on the inverter for it to use um alternating current uh, that's going to be a switch to, to run my stereo when the engine's off off the auxiliary battery but there is like I've got a little bookshelf here I've got camera storage it's kind of a mess um, there's USBs here um, and there's access in here to the auxiliary fuse panel um, this center cabinet here um, is it has no front facing like drawers or cubbies or anything um, because it's mostly stuff storage this is actually on hinges, um, and it's a slab of wood. Uh, in here, I have my fresh water tank. Um, it's a, I believe, a five and a half or eight gallon, not really sure, uh, fresh water tank. I've got my um, stove here. It's a Camp Chef Everest, I believe, or Camp Chef Sierra. I don't think they make it anymore because I can't find much on that. Um, and then clothes and jackets and stuff on the left. This still needs some organizing. I was in there doing wiring, as you can see. Um, so I have, um, I've modified the lid with PVC um, and a piece of tubing that's, that can get pulled out. Um, and that's my intake for my uh, pump. This here is my water pump. Water runs. Um, I have a switch here because if you leave it on, it duty cycles once every once in a while and goes like, it makes this noise. Um, so I like just leaving it off. That way, if there's ever a leak or anything, it doesn't just empty all the water out of the tank. And this is like the main cabinet here. In the interior, I have like all of my kitchen storage. Um, I could run through this real quick. I have paper towels on a paracord um, replaceable slider deal here um, I can pull that out of the way for a second here is where I have like my pot uh, strainer lids and stuff like that uh, more pots and you know kitchen esque stuff and all my bowls my um, cup my soaps hand sanitizer extra paper towels um, and my pot just hangs on the door there. Everything fits well. Um, this is shoe storage. This is all, this is food storage. Uh, food storage and then just like toothbrush, utensils, that sort of stuff. Um, this is my heater. Uh, it is the Mr. Buddy portable heater. Um, not ideal for me. Uh, it works really well, but um, I wish I had a built-in heater. It goes through these one gallon bottles. If you're in a really cold place and you want to kind of leave the heater on low, like say overnight, um, you'll go through one of these bottles of three to five hours. Right now I just have this vintage Coleman um, cooler, but I really want a Dometic fridge that would also run off my solar panels. 
um, but they're like 550 bucks, so um, for right now I'm just rocking a cooler and constantly changing ice. <laughs> this is, I didn't show you this, this is a table that swings out and a little thing here pulls out. That's kind of like my dining table or whatnot. Then there's the AC and of course the fire extinguisher right there. Um, this is the USB ports, dual USB there. Under the bench seat here, I have, first of all, my trash. I use, um, re, like, I recycle, um, bags from grocery store bags. Under here is the majority of my clothing and some more dry food storage along with like I have my jack back there some hammocks uh, my pants uh, sleeping pad camping stuff that sort of stuff stays under there and of course the way this bed works let's bed back up the way these pads work is they're on elastic strings so they can bunch up in any direction. Um, they don't block out light, so I might actually rebuild them or resew them and make them something thicker, though it's really hard to find fabric that really efficiently blocks out light while still being able to bunch up. Um, this is a blackout curtain. It's got um, Velcro in the middle. Then it's, I've got a steel half inch 065 round tubing uh, that I just bent with like my foot into a bit of a curtain hanger uh, to block out most of the light there and welded it to a piece of sheet metal that I drilled holes in. Janky weld, don't look too close. Um, it's kind of messy right now. Um, these buses don't come with a center console. This is a pass through that you can walk through, which I like. I like being able to scramble from the front to the back. Uh, this is a uh, fully welded steel uh, locking center console that I designed um, and built. It's bolted to the chassis or to the frame or whatever, but though all the locks on my bus work. Um, being able to lock the whole bus, but lock everything that is valuable in there is kind of just another like reassurance. I made this out of some wood, I forget what type. Um, wood, you know, I made uh, cup holder cutouts there. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I've upgraded the seats to the later bay window seats. They're a little bit more comfortable with head rests. Of course, I've got my slide, trusty LED flashlight, and more propane tanks. That's about it. So, I'll give you a walk around of the outside now. This is the outside of my Volkswagen. Um, it's been sitting here for a month or two because I blew up the engine because the engine builder turned out to be a goof. So, this is what we've got. It's a 1971 Volkswagen bus. Um, you can see the curtains don't, you can't see through them or anything, especially this back blackout curtain. Um, can't see out of that at all. This is my ladder I built. Um, no damage is done to the bus because it has feet and it's bungee tied down and it sits in the gutter up on the top. Uh, the lines for the solar, no drilling required. They come right into the fresh air vent here. We've got two 100 watt solar panels. Um, they're a, it's a Renogy kit. Um, um, I'm up on the platform here pull off um, one on each side right now there's just one like this and, ah, takes two hands and I only have one then you've got your solar tilted in case you're positioned somewhere where it's better to have the sun or the solar panels paint pointed one direction but that's the solar and the roof racks These are Grabber AT2 tires. Another thing here is my great water tank. I got it from a Adventure 
wagon, Volkswagen bus. Uh, same bus I got the seats from. The bus was, um, we were parting it out, so I got this from it. For that, I just have a two inch receiver that I welded. It's bolted up to the frame, and that's what I put my motorcycle carrier on. That is all. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later.